just about your future careers, but also about what you want out of life. If some of you aren't sure yet what you want to do, the Paris Careers Expo will be held this weekend in various locations throughout the city. You'll meet professionals who will tell you about their careers. The document that Marinette just handed you includes a map of Paris with the locations of each career booth. How about superhero? Does that count as a job? <laughs> I would add that you should never let the context impose your costume on you. You should choose your costume yourself. Speaking of which, I myself will be present at the charity stand as... <sighs> the Owl! Hoo-hoo! Your daily writer of wrongs! <sighs> Don't you want to continue to model? I don't think so, Plague. I'm doing it now because my father asked me to, and I realize now I don't know what else I'd want to do. I never asked myself that question. What do you think of Cat Noir as a career? Well, since Ladybug keeps giving Miraculous out to other holders, one day she probably won't need me anymore. Don't worry, I will always be here for you. Hey, if you want, we could even open a cheese shop together. Just imagine, Plague and Cat Noir's from Marjorie. <laughs> you can't eat cheese if you're trying to sell it. Ah, oh, you're right. Good point. What's a job where you get to eat cheese, then? Why don't we start by visiting the food trade booths? Come on, Plague. It's time to think about our future. Let's gotten into him. I didn't do anything. Didn't do anything? Well, yeah, you did. You've been neglecting a very classy piece of camembert on your plate for too long. And as a result, it got runny and moldy. What? Cat Noir never gave me any camembert? Of course not! Cat Noir is the camembert! For a while now, you've been neglecting this camembert. I, I mean, Cat Noir. And going on adventures with all the other cheeses! But he should be happy about it. It gives him more time off. Cat Noir doesn't mm. want to have time off, Ladybug. He's in love with you! And your persistent calling on all the other heroes has broken his heart! I'm really sorry if Cat Noir's hurt, but I'm doing my best as a guardian. Ah, uh, I know. I just... Give me the miraculous. I'll give it back to him, cheer him up, we'll chow down on some grilled Mimolet sandwiches, and everything will go back to normal. It's useless. The problem is that Cat Noir is in love with me, and since I can't do anything about that, I'll keep on breaking his heart over and over again. Maybe Cat Noir is right. We should split. <gasps> Whoa! Not so fast! May I remind you that Cat Noir is a very competent superhero and that your powers complement each other? I know. I can't do it without a Cat Noir. <sighs> So I'll just have to choose another one, who won't be in love with me! <laughs> another Cat Noir? What do you mean, another Cat Noir? I'm going to choose a new Cat Noir myself, one who won't be in love with me. And since I'll know who he is, I can call on him whenever I need him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You mean you'll know who he is? You'll know his secret identity? You're right! I can't do that! If I know who Cat Noir is and Shadow Moth akumatizes me, he'll know how to find Cat Noir and he'll capture both the Miraculous! He'll merge them together and make his wish come true, and then the whole world will turn into whatever he wants! Finally! <laughs> See? You can't do that, so come on, give me back the Miraculous! I'll just tell him to erase you from his heart and everything will be fine! You really think he's capable of that? I sure hope so. Make sure he's already got a girlfriend and that for real he thinks Ladybug is cool and all, but just like a friend. Then I mail him the Miraculous and... Ah, shoot! I need his address to mail him the Miraculous and his name too! Curse you, Cat Noir! This is all your fault! Ah, why do you have to be in love with me, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Uh, and yet she loves my holder. And he loves Ladybug. <sighs> Sugar Cube, I know how to fix this and get them back together, but I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> Adrian, you're late for breakfast. <gasps> Adrian, are you okay? I'm fine, Natalie. I just don't feel like going to school. When is his next photo shoot? In three days. He'll feel better by then. He's an aggressed. <sighs> but I can't lie to Marinette. Who said anything about lying? I'm just asking you to smile and nod. <clears throat> My dear Guardian, you cannot continue keeping both the Miraculous of Destruction and Creation under the same roof. If Shadow Moth ever found that out and came here... Finally! <laughs> I know that, but I can't figure out how to recruit a new Cat Noir. Because you can't know his identity, right? 
<laughs> well, dry your eyes. We've found the solution. Tiki's the one who reminded me of it, actually. It's true that my owner is fantastic, but there is one other boy. Master Fu hesitated between the two of them when he was choosing Cat Noir, and Tiki and I liked him even better. He'd make a perfect Cat Noir, and more importantly, he's not in love with you, and I mean not at all. How can you be sure of that? Because... it's a Kwame power. And since I can go and present the Miraculous to him myself, you'll never know who he is. That way you'll have a new Cat Noir, who's not in love with you at all, and everything will be perfect. But isn't it kind of risky to leave you on your own outside without a holder with your own Miraculous? What if Shadow Moth captured you? Finally! <laughs> Shadow Moth doesn't even know that Cat Noir's given his Miraculous back! We have to agree that this new Cat Noir will be up to the challenge, right? We're spending time together, so I have to be able to get along with him. He'll have to be nice, generous... Hang on, I'm talking about a top-shelf Cat Noir here. Brave, but calm, and rational, too. As strong as he is intelligent, thoughtful, and trustworthy. I promise you, take the time to get to know him, and you'll see he's the Cat Noir of your dreams. Are you trying to pull one over on me, Plag? Oh, Sugar Cube, tell her. She can trust me, can't she? <laughs> Okay, then. I promise you won't regret it! Mm -hmm. Adrian! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we were having such a pleasant time. Tiki, spots on! You're gonna have to, Ladybug. Cat Noir's been feathered. <gasps> Lucky Charm! A hand trill? No offense, but I don't think you'll get out of here with such a tiny hole. Who said anything about getting out? Of course! Just like with every other investigation, the answer was right under my nose since the very beginning! Hmm? Hmm? <gasps> this is not normal! No, it isn't! We'll never know! Mr. Pigeon is back for the 72nd time, and now he's transforming Parisian... Huh? Ladybug, I'm stuck at the pool! You want me to get you out of there? No, not you! It's too dangerous to be out in Paris right now! Cat Noir has already been transformed into a pigeon! Then how can I help? I need Ladybug and Cat Noir to lure Mr. Pigeon back here. Got it. Ladybug needs us. Mm. Tricks, let's pounce. are on their way. Thanks, Rena Rouge. No need for the mayor's permission to turn Paris into a pigeon paradise when the mayor himself is a pigeon. Don't forget that there are other evil animals in Paris ready to put a stop to your power. Ladybug, Cat Noir, give yourselves up or else I'll spread my wings even farther. So far that the entire world will become pigeons. If I were you, I'd rather transform people into kittens. Everyone likes kittens better. Or into ladybugs. At least they bring good luck. I couldn't have said it better. Nice work, Rena. Oh, yes. Ladybugs make an excellent snack for pigeons. Sure, but you gotta catch them first. <laughs> Careful! If they touch the illusions, they will disappear! Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Here they come. Flag, you're up! Ugh, I hate water and pigeons, and that cat noir isn't here to do this instead of me. <laughs> Jewels are forbidden in the pool, Ladybug. It's time, Rena! I'm afraid this time we don't have a choice, m'lady. I guess it's time to throw in the towel, kitty cat. Fire! 
Finally! Now! Take them if you can! Pigeons might not like water, but I do! Your great plan didn't really work out, Plag. Are you kidding? It worked better than if it had actually worked! So long, serious cat. We're finally gonna be super cool cat again! What if I can't do it? Become the old Cat Noir again? Don't worry about that. Just be yourself and he'll be back in two shakes of a cat's tail. But... <laughs> does that mean Cat Noir is who I really am? Deep down inside? You're not Cat Noir, but you're not Adrian either. You're both. You're the perfect son who's extremely successful in everything he does, but you're also Cat Noir who just wants to enjoy life and have fun. One can't exist without the other, and I sure am glad to have both of you back. Mm. I've been a really temperamental kitty, milady. I didn't realize how much trouble I'd make for you by giving back my miraculous. Just because I don't need you all the time doesn't mean that I don't need you at all, Cat Noir. No one could ever replace you. 